he can balance and swim at the same time. Wow. Very good. Luck. Key cameras ready. Give me coming up. You can also do some rollovers. One, two, three. Well done, Claude. We're going to give the ball back, and then he's going to show you his handstand walk. Off he goes. What? Everybody. We've got another member of the Sea Lion Splash family. He's going to come and join us as well. He's been working on his balancing. He's not been doing it for as long as Claude. And remember, it does take a lot of practice. So everybody, put your hands together. So we're going to have a nice big welcome for Elmo. Elmo's balancing has been going quite well, so we're not going to start too easy. We're going to challenge Elmo. Let's get him thinking about what he's doing by asking him to go and retrieve the ball. Get ahead of yourself there, Elmo, aren't you? He's a little bit eager there. Ready, Elmo? Retrieve the ball from across the water. Everybody watch Elmo's whispers. The whispers are up, feeling for the movement of the ball. Then he can move his head and neck and keep control of it and balance it all the way back to his seat. Let's see if we can get hands down as well. Wow. And very good. Now Elmo can help us out with a few more facts about sea lions, but I'm going to be bringing him over much closer. I need everyone at the front to sit down properly for me, please. Get your cameras ready. Get your cameras ready. There will be some good photo opportunities coming up. Everybody knows that sea lions like to eat fish, but if you live in the wild, you need to catch it yourself. They have a number of features to help them do this. First one is whiskers. They've got between 40 and 60 of these. Each one's got around 1,800 nerve endings. They're incredibly sensitive. And even if a sea lion was totally blind in the wild, they'd still be able to find their food as they can feel the vibration the fish makes as it swims it swim through the water. Another important feature are his teeth. He's got 34, maybe 36 for a bigger sea lion. Only pointy ones for catching and grabbing. They don't chew their food like dogs and children. And you'll see this, so if you watch him catch the fish, no chewing involved, he just swallows it whole. Elmo is a very cheeky sea lion as, uh, as well. And if you all keep an eye on his face, he's going to show you just how cheeky he is by sticking out his tongue. <laughs> Very good, Elmo. If you ask them nicely, they'll give you a big round of applause. We're going to head over to the other side of the pool. So stay seated, everybody. Nice little splash there. Keep going, Elmo. We're going to start with his whiskers. There's light ones and dark ones. They all do the same job. They're very sensitive. If the water was quite dark and murky and they couldn't see where they were going, they can feel their way around instead. Sit down for me, please. We're going to have a look at his teeth. If you look very closely, you might be able to see his teeth are very dark, almost black in colour. Over time, they develop a layer of bacteria which has a dark pigment and this helps to keep his teeth nice and healthy. So they're not black and rotten and about to fall out. That's just the colour they're supposed to be. We're going to do the tongue thing off this side as well. So get your cameras ready. Steady. Very good, Elmo. Give him a big round. Well done, Elmo. He's going to head back over to the... Oh, oh. Another important feature they have is their eyesight. They've got what's called binocular vision, two forward-facing eyes which allow them to judge speed and distance very well. So we're going to put this to the test. Dean has got five hoops. He's going to throw them to Elmo, who's going to try and catch them over the top of his head. Ready, Elmo? One, two, three. Difficult one for the last one. Five. Very good. But you don't catch 
fish on the land, if you live in the world, you need to go swimming to find your dinner. So let's put Elmo to the test. Let's ask him to go for a swim this time and see if he can still catch five hoops. Ready, Elmo? Right, here we go again. One, two, three. Underwater. Four. Difficult one for the last one. Five. Very good, Elmo. They don't just eat fish, they can eat other animals as well, like squid and octopus, seabirds such as pelicans and penguins, even the occasional fur seal and seal pup. They really are the lions of the sea. And it's not just down to their diet, they are quite a lion-like animal. And this can include their voice. But the noise that everyone seems to associate with sea lions is the Californian sea lion's bark. So everyone listen very carefully while Claude demonstrates. Okay, very good Claude. Now not all sea lions make that noise. Some of them do sound much more like a lion. So Elmo's going to come over. Ready Elmo? Um, um. Very good. That's a lovely roar, Elmo. Well done. He's going to head back over to the beach. Off he goes. Give him another big round of applause, everybody. There's six different species of sea lions. Some of them even get a big mane of fur around their neck. So they look like a lion as well. But there is one thing they don't have in common. And this is that the sea lions are not top of their food chain. There are some much big, much bigger and help much scarier predators that their wild cousins need to be very careful of. Yeah, they are a bit scary, aren't they, Elmo? <laughs> Elmo can help us to find out what these predators are. He's very good at impressions. And you can all have a go at guessing as well. I'll give you some clues. These two predators are always found in the water. The first one is a very big, wait for Elmo, very big fish. Gets to over six meters in length and it can weigh over a thousand kilograms. Did you guess what it was? It's a great white shark. The other predator is even bigger. The largest member of the dolphin family. So it's a mammal. It's black and white. The orca or the killer whale. Give them a big round of applause and well done if you got them right. If you are a little seal or sea lion swimming along and one of these predators is after you, Selena is going to show us what you need to do. And it can swim very quickly. Sea lions' top speed is 25 miles an hour, seals is 18. But remember, they're mammals like us. So they can't breathe underwater, they need to hold their breath. But by porpoising, instead, they can take a breath on the move. They don't need to stop, because you don't want to do that if there's a shark after you. Porpoising also allows them to twist and turn and change direction, to try and confuse the predator. But if that doesn't work, there's one more thing they can try. So everybody look at the other side of the pool, with the blue target's hanging up. Ready? Well done, Selena. Give her a big round of applause. We'll get an action replay in case you missed it. So they launch their bodies as high as they can. They come crashing back down, making a big splash, lots of bubbles underwater. That'll make it very difficult for the predator to see which way they went. But they don't need to worry about that here at the park. There are no sharks or killer whales swimming around in their pool. And if everybody looks closely at Claude's face, he's going to show you just how happy he is that he doesn't need to worry about predators. Okay, we're ready. Smile. Show everyone on this side as well, Claude. How happy are you? Okay, Very happy, no sharks. We've got one more member of our sea lion family. He's going to come and join us now. He's coming out later on because he's the youngest member of the family, so he's still learning. It's a bit like when you first go to school. You don't go for a whole day, just go for a little while so you can get used to it and see what you need to do. So everyone, put your hands together. Let's have a nice big welcome for Dario Elmo's son. Aww. 
hardest thing that a baby sea lion needs to learn is that sometimes you do just need to sit nicely and wait while the other animals take a turn. That's very difficult, especially when you're young. So you'll notice they get rewarded more for this than anything else. So that goes for all the time. So it includes the big sea lions as well, and Selena. Now in the wild, if you are avoiding all those predators, that will keep you extremely fit. Just because they don't need to worry about predators here, they still need to stay fit because that will keep them nice and healthy. So we set Elmo a bit of a challenge. He did a bit of thinking. He decided he needed to join the sea lion gym. As a male Californian sea lion, they can reach two and a half meters in length and weigh a whopping 500 kilograms. It's very important they use all those muscles so they grow big and strong. And the big males out in the wild are known as beach masters. So Elmo is going to show us how strong he is by doing his handstand walk. Look at that. Give a big round of applause. Well done, Elmo. Dario's got a lot of growing to do as well. And it's very important throughout all stages of life that we keep our bodies nice and active. So he's been learning to do his high jump. He's going to be seeing if he can touch the blue target on this side of the pool at the front with his nose. That is quite high, so that's where you need to be pointing your cameras if you want to try and get a picture or a video. Right, Dario, let's get in position. Pose for a few nice photos on the rock. Lovely. <laughs> Big jump, Dario. Off we go. Very good. That was pretty high for a little sea lion. So we've seen how high Selena can jump. Now we've seen how high Dario can jump. But let's find out how high our biggest sea lion, Elmo, can jump. He's going to go to the target on the far side of the pool. Same one that Selena went to, but we're raising it up because he is much bigger than Selena. I'm pretty sure he can jump higher than she can. It is not just used for avoiding predators. It is a fun behaviour as well. And uh, it's a lovely high energy behaviour. Burns lots of calories and it's a great way for them to keep fit and healthy. So let's get Elmo in position. Selena, quickly out of the way. Well done. Off we go, big jump. Yes. Well done, Elmo. Give a big round of applause. That was pretty high. That did look a little bit easy, though. Elmo has been practising this a lot lately. The more he does it, the fitter he becomes, and then he should be able to jump much higher. So we're going to have another go, but we're going to raise the target up a little bit this time. See if he can go even higher. When the sea lions jump out of the water, they use their powerful front flippers to launch their bodies out of the water. High flippers are used for steering and swimming, but seals swim the other way around. It's more like a fish. They push themselves through the water by moving their high flippers from side to side, and they use their front flippers to steer. Watch Selena as she swims out of the way. Very slowly. Off we go, Elmo. Big jump. Yes, look at that splash. Massive round of applause. Well done, Elmo. This year, Dario will be four years old. In the wild, sea lions live to be around 15. But in human care, its life expectancy can be at least doubled. This is because life is much easier for them. They get all of their food provided from us. There's medical care if they need it. And of course, there's no predators. So life is nowhere near as stressful. They can spend a lot more time playing and relaxing. Claws our oldest sea lion. He'll be 19 this year. And they're all very important ambassadors for their species. They help us to raise funds to protect endangered animals in the wild like the Mediterranean musk seal. If you'd like to help us, there will be donation buckets available at the end and there's more information about the project on the poster board up there. But Dario's got something else to show you now to show you how agile he is by climbing our waterfall. They're very agile in the wild. Lots of pups will climb all sorts of rocky cliffs to avoid predators, not just the ones in the water. There's even some on land like coyotes and bigger sea lions. He's going to get ready for his high dive. <coughs> Up he goes. He'll come back to his seat. He'll show you how proud he is of himself. Ta-da! <laughs> we 
we do have a very exciting opportunity for you today, the chance to do your own photo with Claude. If you're not already booked in and you'd like to be, we do have a few spaces left. You just need to see Charlotte at the top there. She's also got a nice selection of souvenirs as well. We've got posters of our seal and sea lines. So if you do your own photo with Claude or get any other souvenirs, see Charlotte up there. But let's see now if Dario wants to join the big sea lions and Selena and give you all a nice big wave. Thank you everybody and have a lovely day with us here at Glenwood Hills. We've got white